Hey, it's Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Uh, have a fun day. This is a beautiful day out here, and I'm doing some experimentation fishing. Um, and I'll show you here what I'm using. But I've, uh, I was thinking the other day how nice it would be to do some sight fishing, and I always wanted to be able to stand up on. Um, I had this L2 fish paddleboard, and to stand up on the platform and paddle. So I was thinking, why don't I get a long paddle? Where can I find one? And then I realized, hey, I've got this push pole. Uh, let me just try taking the push pole out, and uh, that way I can stand up on the platform that's a lot of that's an extra you know probably 14 15 inches of elevation and uh, be able to use the push pull to get around and hopefully do some good sight fishing this is a beautiful day out this is tampa bay and it is glass calm so we're going to get out there and uh, see if we can't uh, make this work hopefully see some fish and uh, even better if we can catch some all right let's just get myself aimed in the right direction yeah, we'll see how it goes Oh man, this is awesome. You can definitely see a lot better up here. Oh man, this is great. I mean, I can see everything on this flat. Oh my gosh, those are big fish. Two monsters. Those might have been the ones I was casting at. Yeah, those are big old snook. Get one more up there, Adam. They're literally right in front of it. Oh, they're looking at it. Eat it. Ah, they can sense me. All right, there's another fish right up there. That's a good one. I'm gonna go super slow. Let's see. I'll point them out to you. So right, right up there. With how calm it is, I've led them a long ways. And they turn the other way. They're getting a little bit too close now. Dang it. They're nice reds. Eat it. Eat it. Oh my gosh, that's a good red. Oh, it was following. All right, there's another one right here. Oh, he completely turned away. Another good fish right here. What is that? Big old red. Right underneath me. Dang, another one right there. Ooh, we're in the spot. That might be a good fish right there. Cast it about 10 feet over him. Got him, nice. That's a good rib. Nice fish. It's a good red here. Got the uh, push pull on the L2 fish. Yeah, I'm digging this setup. I'm literally able to see this entire flat and be very, very quiet at the same time. good fish. I hope you enjoyed that sight fishing footage. I had a lot more. I, I saw probably 30 to 40 fish. As you can see here, this is a, an area with some grassy bottom. I, I pulled a, a little bit further where there was some, some grass on the bottom just to check it out. And sure enough, I saw a lot of fish there. Um, and this, this clip in particular, I wanted to show, and this is the last one I show, but, uh, but it's really cool. It, it's, uh, it, and it's a lesson learned. So here's the lesson is, uh, every time you see a, a dark object that you think might be a fish, just go ahead and cast at it. This, 
this dark spot right here, I actually I picked up probably when I was uh, 20 yards further back. I saw it from a long ways off. I thought it was the bottom or maybe like a log or something. Turns out it's a nice snook. And I didn't realize it soon enough. But even still, I did have a good chance. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, what happens. And uh, so I'm about to make a cast. So I'll just pause it. So there's the cast. Um, I'm, on, I'm standing up on the platform still. The wind is pushing me this direction, you know, from, uh, from left to right. And so this cast is going to take the lure right in front of its face, just how I wanted it. So everything was going exactly as planned. The snook had no idea that the, the bait landed. It, you can see it doesn't move. But what I didn't plan on was a redfish popping out from this grass. And that redfish came at the perfectly wrong angle for what I was doing. Because as you'll see here in a second, this redfish is popping out right there. Uh, the snook now sees my bait. The snook is nosing up. Let me go ahead and pause it. So my bait's right about here. My line is curving over the redfish, over to my rod. So I was at a predicament. I, 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 had, I needed to work the lure to get the snook to strike. But uh, if I moved the lure, I was at risk of scaring the redfish, which would then scare the snook because the redfish would either have felt the line or would see the line move. And I'm just go ahead and play it and show you what happens. So actually I'll pause one more time. You can see the snook, the tail is coming up. That's actually, I'll get it one last second. This tail is way off the ground. It is looking directly at my bait. You can see my line right here going right over the redfish, straight to the snook. And uh, here's where it all goes wrong. There goes the redfish. So I spooked the redfish. I don't know if my line hit it or if it saw me because at this point I was only maybe 12 feet away. But either way, the, the both of them spooked off. I didn't catch either one. I was completely devastated, but it was, uh, it was cool to see. I, I just love, uh, you know, I love sight fishing. It is my absolute favorite and it is cool to see good fish like this in really shallow water. So anyhow, again, I saw probably 30, 40 fish. If you want to see these exact spots, I actually show uh, for our insider members, I show these type of, of, of clips and then I get on Google Maps and I show exactly where I am, what I'm using, what's working, what's not. So if you are interested in seeing these spots, you know, seeing exactly where these fish are, plus there's, there's now over 30 other uh, spots like this that I really dissect. Uh, plus more are coming on a weekly basis. So if you want that, uh, check out our insider program. It's our insider membership. And if you have any questions about this paddleboard, about uh, about how I rigged it, how I fished from it, you know, whatever whatever you need, I'll be happy to help. Because uh, I, I just love I love paddleboard fishing. If you haven't tried it yet, highly recommend giving it a shot. It is a huge advantage uh, over kayak fishing in particular, given the uh, the just the height difference. That the higher your your point of uh, of elevation is uh, for sight fishing. It is a huge, huge advantage. And even the additional, you know, 14 plus or minus inches that that casting platform provided was a huge boost. So any questions, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you get out on the water soon and catch some big ones.